So now that our boss is complete and we've let our player be able to destroy him completely, there's one final thing we want our players to be able to do, and that's to be able to see that they've won the level. So we're going to go to our canvas here. I'm going to create a new image on this canvas. So a new UI image. Actually, no, rather than creating a new Im image, what I'll do is delete that one there. I'm going to duplicate our previous image. We're going to rename this to be level complete. I'm going to activate it here because we want to do the same thing of overlaying the screen with a bit of text or over overlaying the screen with some darkness so it's, we can recognize the change. And instead of saying game over, we're going to say level complete like this, stretch it out. And there we go. We got a nice little message for our players. So I'm going to deactivate this. We're going to add a very simple little script um, to our project down in our scripts here. We're going to create a C sharp script and we're going to call it the level complete script. And all this is going to do is as soon as it appears on screen, it's going to start counting down and then it'll load into the next level that we tell it to. So we're going to open this up here. We're going to create a public float time to load. In our update loop, we're going to make that countdown. So time to load, time to load minus equals time dot delta time. And then if it goes below zero, so if time to load is less than or equal to zero, we want to load up the next level. So we need to include, of course, our scene management. So using Unity, oh, no, hold on. There we go. Using Unity Engine dot scene management. And then down here we can go scene manager dot load scene. And what's the name of the scene we're going to load next? Well, of course, we need a reference to that here. So we'll have a public string next level. And then we'll pass that in here. And there we go. We're loading into the next level that we want to go to. So let's go back into the game. We're going to assign that to the level complete screen. At the moment, we don't have any other levels in the game. So I'm just going to tell it to load this level again in our scenes. So now we have it there. Let's attach that to this. Time to load. We'll give it like five seconds to load. Next level will be level one again. Then we need, of course, to activate this screen when we defeat the boss. So that's the final thing we're going to add to our boss battle script. We're going to add public game object level win screen. And then down in the end of phase three here. We never actually ended up using phase four. Um, so we should use that here. That was that was actually what we were meant to do. We're going to go for phase four here. So if we're in phase four, we're going to have a simple countdown before that level win actually appears on screen. So we can watch the explosion of our enemy. So we'll have uh, public float time uh, time to level win. And then down here, we'll say time to level win minus equals time dot delta time. If it goes below zero is less than or equal to zero. Then we're going to turn on our level win screen. So level win screen dot set active true. And then we're going to deactivate the main boss game object. So we just say game object dot set active false. So let's save this, go back into the game. This will be our final bit of our boss now. Let this compile and we'll just hook up those few little bits and we'll just run through one time to make sure this is all going just the way we want it to. We'll make it, give it a three second countdown. Turn level complete there. Before we actually start running the game, we need to make sure that we add our scene to the build settings. So I'm just going to add our currently open scene because that's the only one we have going. We'll hit play.
Let's see if we can destroy this boss in a reasonable amount of time. We got one hand, so we can get one hand without getting hit. Let's see if we can get any more. Oh, somehow I managed to get up there safely. There we go, we got both hands. So now comes the real danger. Oh, I managed to do it without losing the life. That's pretty surprising. So we let that count down. Oh, why didn't it count down? We're in phase four, we're counting down. Oh, I deactivated the object when our main health ran out. Of course, we needed to not do that. So let's save that, go back into the game. Will that apply here automatically into the game while it's running? I don't know if it will. Sometimes they do. If it finishes compiling. No, it didn't. Okay, so we'll just quickly restart one last time. Let's get this bus. Can I do it again without dying? Probably not. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, there we go. I lost my shield already, so that's not good. There we go. I'm dead again. Oh, it's all falling apart. Let's get him. Destroy the body. Like I said, only having five bullets is probably not a good idea. But there we go. We got our level complete. Our boss kind of stayed in the scene, and that was a problem because rather than deactivating the game object, what we should be doing here is deactivating the boss himself. But we saw our level win screen appeared just the way we wanted it to, and then it loaded up into a new level, i.e. it just restarted the same level again. But it's perfect, our system is all working, our game is working just fine, and we've got our boss all sorted. So we've got a lot of the main components of our game in place. So there's just a couple of other things we could take a look at doing, and specifically, a couple of other things that you can take a look at doing. So, just as a quick little add-on to this video, I did notice when I destroyed the boss just after completing that video, we have one tiny little problem left, which is that when we deactivate the boss himself, and all our phases come to an end, although he stops shooting from the center of his body, he's still shooting from the two outside elements. So what we can do to deactivate that is just, as soon as the boss is destroyed, we can set our shock counter to be equal to a really high number, just 500, and that'll last long enough to end our level. So just one quick last time, we're gonna verify that it all works absolutely perfectly. Go back into our game here. And once we get going, we'll destroy our boss. And if we can avoid all these shots. There we go, we got that one. Oh, no, no, I got him destroyed. There we go, he's destroyed. There's no more shooting. We load our level complete screen. And then finally, we load in to the next level. 